This is iOS 26. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the new things with it. Drop back down below, subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about all the new features with iOS 26. Let's get started. So iOS 26 is out. And as you can see, this is the completely new clear look, the liquid glass look. So let's grab the iPhone and show you all the new features hands on. Let's get started. So as you can see, we got a completely new lock screen. And yeah, you can now do this. Yeah, just unlocked, but you can see the home screen. But what I was saying is if you unlock your lock screen, you can now change the size of your time in the lock screen. This is really, really cool. Just come here and the tab at the bottom, you can reshape the size that you want. I like the biggest one, it looks pretty cool. And just to show off that new iOS 26 look, look at it. I think it looks awesome. Then again, if you unlock it, you will reach your home screen and you get the new liquid glass design. This liquid glass aesthetic just looks different. As you can see, I have the clear icons. The clear icons are new on iOS 26, but you can change it for the normal ones or even the tinted ones. Go here, customize, and you'll appear with this menu at the bottom. Right here, you have the default. Default will give you default icons, but they do look a bit different, as you can see. You also have the dark mode. You have the clear, which is the one that I was showcasing before, and you have the tinted. The tinted is a bit different. You can choose the color that you want on this slider. You can choose red, green, yellow, blue, pink, whatever you want. Currently showcasing the clear because I think it's easier for you to see that this is the new iOS 26. So going to customize, select clear. Right now it's bugging off because it's on the tinted. You can also leave it on dark mode, light mode or auto, but clearly I'm choosing clear, not tinted, just clear and it's it's a bug. So don't install iOS 26 developer beta right away. This will give you lots of bugs, problems. And again, this will be overheat your device. The battery life will be trash, but don't do it guys. Don't install the developer beta. I'm, do I'm doing it on my secondary or third phone. Again, some changes new to the <laughs> control center. As you can see, different animation coming down. So if I put down control center, different animation. And here you will see that we have a controversial look for iOS 26. As you can see, it's transparent, or at least opaque. And you can see through the icons for your home screen. For some people, or lots of people are saying that you'll have lots of trouble reading stuff, especially with people with disability. Let's see what happens in the future. And Apple can change it still until September, whenever this launches officially on iOS 17. Moving on, you also have some changes on the menu bars and everything that relates to the Apple apps. For example, if I go into music app, which is right, here it should be music app you will see that you have different tabs at the bottom as you can see transparent tabs and the music right there right there and yeah then this is all the same but on the transparent tabs at the bottom you'll have the search bar the home button everything it's it's different and it will change on every single app for example go to the calculator app it will be a bit different than before you have an option right here where you can select the type of calculator that you have and then convert math notes everything just has a little different touch to the os and of course probably the biggest change that i don't think you can see with this look of tinted but i will change to normal mode default mode is the icons especially the camera icon i don't think you have noticed it but if you don't here it is the new icon but everything has also changed on the camera app as you can see completely different click on photo rotate it to the side you have panel portrait and photo all three different types of photos. Click on video and right there, switch to this side, you'll have time-lapse, you will have slow-mo, you'll have video, and then cinematic mode if it's, if it's available on your phone. So yeah, you can just slide around, but everything is more compact, easier to use. At the top, you have the settings for styles, flash, timers, filters, whatever you wanna see or use. And then the most important part is settings. For example, for video, click on video, click at the top right there, and then you'll have all these settings for the video. HDR, HD26, 4K, 4K30, 60. Everything is pretty much the same, same functionality, but arranged on a different menu and different stuff. Then click there, same for opening up the Photos app, just like before. If you ask me, I think this is a pretty, pretty cool thing to change on the camera app. Different look to refresh iOS. I was asking for it for a while now. I think it's a pretty cool change. Most people will love. I think they look awesome. The mail app also has a different look. The settings app, oh, if you click on settings, this will also be completely different than before. If you love iPhone, if you love iOS, then you will notice the differences. 
the search bar is now at the bottom and even the keyboard is a bit rounded off the keys are a bit rounded off functionality i think is the same if you search on battery which is also something that changed a lot no nope, did not appear probably a bug from ios 26 again don't install any of these without knowing that this is this is not an important device going to battery and then you will see that you have a different battery tab at settings give you the battery percentage there last charged 100 percent the amount of battery that you use today so 19 percent on youtube home screen lock screen and then find my all battery usage it will give you all of the things that you want then you have battery health charging power mode and battery percentages going to power mode you have adaptive power so when your battery usage is higher than usual iphone can make small performance adjustments or low power mode i think that most people leave it turned off but if you want to do use the adaptive power mode for days that you don't know how much will you use but you want to save battery this will be a nice option and i think it's a pretty cool option to have then again you also have battery health but it gives you the battery health of the battery battery mass, maximum capacity cycle count and whenever it was manufactured or used and as you can see the dynamics of ios are different you have two different looks than before before you have this very very flat look now it's it's classy it's almost vision os like weather stocks they are all different going to weather you see the, the bar at the bottom this now is adjusted before it, it was different now it's this glassy look and i think it looks transparent in my opinion i think it looks cool and i think this new aesthetic fits ios perfectly there are some people that don't like it there are some people that hate it the rest pretty much the same photos app i think they will have the same aesthetic yeah photos app is pretty much the same not that much of a difference i think that now you have collections and now you have the library as you can see the, the bar at the bottom oh before ios 19 one thing that i'm noticing is that you would push down and you will open up the collections all the albums and now on ios 26 you click collections and then we will show you all of that so apple has separated the menus into two people complained apple listened so that's i think a pretty cool thing to have on ios 26 other than that it's just the overall aesthetic as you can see big changes coming to overall aesthetic but according to john prosser and other people saying that on leaks this wouldn't change the functionality they were more or less correct again the new aesthetic is this clear mood that everyone is complaining about because they are saying that you can't see anything still for me not sure safari is also different now click on safari and you'll see that it looks different you have this translucent look to your device again the new keyboard new translucent look click on apple and it will open up the new website as you can see now you have a new menu bar at the bottom instead of the old menu bar that was like iOS 7 or 8 at the top, and then the new one at the bottom with, with a different look. Now it's all translucent. This new visualist like look to iOS looks great in my opinion. Sliding around, it disappears, leaving you with more space for the website to showcase its beautiful images and to showcase its more space on it. So I think it's a freeing environment, iOS 26. Click here, you'll also have different new menus and some a little bit more simple, easier to use. The phone app is also being updated. Click here and you will see that you have a different menu. Here you can click and choose between the classic or the new one. And you also have more filter options, mist, voicemail. You also have spam and calls and call filtering, reduce distractions for unknown callers, turn on screening. And now it will screen unknown callers and you will talk to them while you are actually seeing the full AI summary of what the caller wants. And if you decide to answer it or if it's a spam call, you just refuse this has been available on pixel for a while now available on the iphone i think it's pretty pretty cool going to contacts the sliding around all the different animations are also different also the menu bar at the bottom it's a bit different and the search is also a bit different so the phone app has also been updated something that we all forget that at the end of the day the iphone is a phone i need to use it as a phone there are also some options on the phone settings app come here apps search for phone and open it up click here you'll open it up and you will see that you have new settings right there for example apple intelligence and siri click here and learn from this app show when calling so apple intelligence is now Siri works on the deeper level on every app default calling app you can choose other default calling apps like whatsapp facetime now i use phone but if you want you can change your default calling app and you use it then of course you also have incoming calls banner announce calls and yeah i think oh no respond with text calls you can change all of these things screen incoming calls i will turn it on this is pretty cool the feature i was talking to before move to unknown callers missed calls and voicemails 
also pretty cool. And then block contacts, you can block your contacts. And these are also a full, completely full and more useful and intuitive menu to use from settings app. I think settings app has gotten a big overall. People don't notice it, but it's a big, big change. The message app is also different. As you can see, you have this new layer of animations and looks for the message app. And clicking here, you can see that we have a new option from polls. Clicking on poll, you can create a different poll. For example, one, two, three, send it. And then the person on the chat can choose between one, two, and three. And for example, two, here's a voting, I don't know, for group chats available on WhatsApp for most people. Then here, you can also change the backgrounds for the image or even the background of the, the chat itself. So choosing right here. So here it is, the new background look for this chat, just like WhatsApp. So most of these features were available on WhatsApp and other messaging apps now available on iMessage. Apple intelligence also got a big upgrade, especially on visual intelligence. If you're going to Safari, for example, and double double DC, take a screenshot of it. And as you can see, now we have one or two new options switch, not now. Thumbnail view, you should click thumbnail view, it will switch. Full page screen, but the best things are at the bottom. Ask and image search. Click on image search and it will search on Google. It's almost like Google's lens on the screen. Google has been doing this for a while, but now you can take screenshots out of your device and search it via ChatGPT. Ask something to ChatGPT, for example, right here, ask Siri, continue or ChatGPT. It's now integrated. Next. Enable ChatGPT, and then you can use ChatGPT prompts with screenshots on your device. Something that visual intelligence and Apple intelligence is moving forward, and I love to see it. I love to see this because this means that it's getting smarter and it's catching up to Android competitors. Now again, you can use this screenshot feature to search things, can translate it, live translate it. You can also use live translations, live translations on the FaceTime app, which is also pretty cool. Even the core apps of iOS, the phone, the App Store is also changed. The App Store has a new look, the new menu bar at the bottom. You also have the new gaming app, so games. This new gaming app will open up all the games that you have on your phone and put them on the same app so you can open them. It's not almost like a game center where you can see how many times have you played, how much time has your, have your friends played, what fr friends are playing what, and of course, as you can see, lots of my games, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Assassin's Creed, and then what are the most played games from everyone? Then of course, back, mouse categories, install games, see what friends are playing, all of that. I think it's it's a pretty cool app. And I think it was long overdue again. Oh, right now he's saying that three days ago, one of my friends played Clash of Clans. And then of course, it will push you up to play Apple Arcade, one of Apple services. And you have this menu bar at the bottom. So as you can see, complete overhaul to iOS, one of the biggest changes coming to iOS. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I think that iOS has been the same for so long and with iOS 26. Lots and lots of new things are coming. Also, the preview app is available on the iPhone, just like the Mac, just like the iPad. The image playground has also been updated for you to be more creative with it, to use it more, even more. This is everything that is new on image playground. And yeah, I think that overall, this has been a very positive upgrade for the device's overall usability and look, but I think it looks awesome. Let's see how Apple will fix it. And from now to the launch in September with iPhone 17, with exclusive features with iPhone. But overall, I think that iOS 26 was a very, very big upgrade, in my opinion. And so, let me know, Cosmilo, what you think about this new iOS 26 update. I think it was pretty, pretty cool. All the new Apple intelligence features coming, and of course, the completely new look and redesign make the iOS 26 refreshing, at least to use on the first few months. Again, this will be just the developer beta, not even the public beta, so download it with caution. This was just a spare phone that I had at home, the iPhone 16e, for me to test the iOS 26 with Apple intelligence, more than that, I don't think you should do it. Don't download it now. But do it at your own ends, do it at your own risk. Don't do it, but if you want to do it, you can. It's on the settings app. Simply go to settings, software update, developer beta, turn on. But forget that I told you that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to below, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.